Hi guys, welcome. Today I'm going to talk about my current setup for uh, the vlogging. Uh, my last video, if you, haven't, if you haven't checked that out, just click on the um, last video where I did outdoor vlogs. Um, in that one, I was using the video micro, which is fine by its own right, especially outdoors because the environment always so noisy so you don't really hear the um, the noise preamp and all the noise from the microphone itself however um, if inside the room I still prefer more dedicated mics um, I've been using this one you guys know the V7X with the V7 head it's fantastic but it occupies one of my hand I can boom it up, I can boom it use this way for about 8-9 inches off my mouth, just out of the frame. But still, it's cumbersome to boom up and to take it down. It's meant to be a handheld stage mic for instruments or with the V7 head used for handheld vocal. So it's not ideal for using like this on camera. On camera is very important for me because as I said, again, again, I created this channel to show you guys inexpensive way of set up your audio and video gear to show yourself, to show your ideas, impressions, and your thoughts on things. You don't need complicated system, gimbal and all that, uh, even tripod. Um, a lot of people say you can do a home studio. It doesn't occupy a lot of space. But what if you don't even have room for a home studio? What are you gonna do? You need something have to be tucked away in minutes and the room has to be function for other purposes immediately. So you need something, you know, quick out of the bag, set it up, ready to go. Therefore, my current audio is from this on camera audio. It's a, the same line audio CM4 where I tested last time about one week ago. But this time I use the Ryko mount from the little re, uh, Rode Video Micro. It comes with that little Rycode uh, shock mount on camera. So I put that one on camera because the Line Audio CM4 is almost the same size and lens as this uh, Rode Vi uh, Video Micro. So I put that one on and um, yeah, on camera. And hopefully with the wide cardio pattern and with sort of a closed room, that uh, line audio gives a better sound than the Rode Video Micro. Uh, again, that's XLR mic, it requires a phantom power. So I used um, same iRig Pre 2 to convert and provide the power and 3.5 millimeter into the RP. What do you guys think? Yeah, today what I, what I want to talk about is other supporting system. I was talking about handheld with a, with, uh, with a hand with bare lens and uh, on-camera mic. But because I have to use that iPre 2, I just need a sort of support system in uh, avoid it dangling around. So inevitably I need some sort of uh, a monopod or tripod or, um, you know, switch port or, um, Gorilla Pod, but I'm not a big fan of Gorilla Pod. I used them years and years ago when the company was funded. I bought the first batch of theirs, used them on DSLRs. Not impressed by that. And chucking the bin after two months of use. So what I'm thinking, I don't really need a tripod tripod with that much um, rear estate space it occupies. I might can get by with a lightweight light stand as the great YouTube channel, if you guys never checked out, you should go and check out Marcus Picks. He is the most inspiring YouTube channel about audio, video, photography, videography. He's awesome. He always show his genuine innovative ideas about replacing heavy, big, bulky, expensive studio gear, film set gears by um, cheaper stuff or things you can buy from Home Depot, which is like a Kmart or Target in Australia. Um, uh, things like um, if you don't need a big one, you can 
get away with a small one and you can put them all in one bag. He even traveled to some exotic locations with three light stands, two lights. You guys should check that out. I always get inspired by him. I think, okay, if I want to buy a, an expensive piece of gear, I would think what market pick would do, what I can replace that with. That's the key thing of learning, right? So as a hobbyist, as most of my audience in this channel, I think we should learn from the professionals, right? But the professionals show us their gear. We should learn the essence, the idea behind why they use what they use instead of just copy their gear list. That's the whole point, right? So you can get a very, very professional shot with a mic boomed up, three points light, Right? But you have to understand why they use what they use, what they want to achieve with a particular piece of gear. So my solution is I found my vlog outdoor walking, the most jiggle or most shake is not actually from um, the micro jitter. It's from the big step shake. So a three excess gimbal not going to do that much unless you do ninja walk. So I think a Canon's digital stabilization is quite effective. So what I'm gonna do, because I'm using a 16 mil lens, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a Z axis or fourth axis sort of um, mechanical um, fourth axis stabilizer. It's like use a spring and it's a Z shaped spring thing. So I'm gonna use that and then um, Obviously, I need to hold on to the camera, so it has to be a, a pod or a stick or a, a monopod, whatever you call it. So I have those ones on order. And also, um, since um, one of the viewers left a comment about use ND filter, I bought a 43mm ND as well. So next outdoor vlog, I will compare with or without ND. Obviously, the only thing changed going to be shutter speed. Can you guys tell a difference. If I don't tell you which one is with ND, which one without ND, can you tell a difference? Right? The whole point of that is obviously I know that the motion blur is going to be uh, 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 not smooth, but on a normal walking situation, would you be able to tell? Right? That's the key point. That's what I learned and that's what I want to implement. Hope to see you guys next time. Thank you very much for checking out. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your comments on your setup or your idea of an inexpensive, effective setup for reasonably good quality video and audio. I'd love to learn. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you for now. Bye.